Stories about orcas are always among our most popular on king5.com, and this is a story that'll make a lot of local whale watchers very happy indeed. And we're gonna talk about uh, whales that we find in the Salish Sea. So by the way, that's like this kind of, kind of an inlet from the Pacific Ocean connecting Washington State and British Columbia. And that's the area of whales that we're talking about being spotted. And here's the big drop. According to data compiled by the Pacific Whale Watch Association, there were a record number of whale sightings in 2021, about three per day on average, and at least one whale sighting on almost every day of the calendar. Now there are about 90, 100 species of whales all over the world. And for many of them, including some of them here in our waters, food is not a problem. Uh, big killer whales, of course, eat seals and sea lions. The humpback whales and the minke whales eat uh, fish, little bait fish, and then gray whales feed on shrimp. So they um, really love Puget Sound especially. Those bigs, or transient killer whales, had a pandemic baby boom. In fact, 11 of their calves were born last year, and 21 humpback whale calves were swimming with their moms in the Salish Sea last year, nearly twice as many as 2020. For both the humpback whales and the Biggs killer whales, we're part of a trend. This is just a really big exponential curve. So um, if everything continues on this path, we're hopeful that 2022 will be very similar. Now, the southern resident killer whales, they are the one species missing from this upward trend. They were spotted above water just 103 days uh, last year in 2021. Although the good news is, as of September, three of those whales were believed to be pregnant. From the King 5 Newsroom, I'm Steve Bunin.